Thank you for joining. In the previous lessons, we completed the creation of a controller and endpoint. We also tested the endpoint using Swagger and queried the database. In this lesson, we are going to extend the endpoint's logic with an additional method to retrieve a single item by its ID. Since we have hard-coded data in the database for testing purposes in the previous lesson, we can now use this data to create an additional action method that queries the database using a single ID. I will add an additional method here and name it getByID. Similar to the approach above, we need to decorate the method with the HTTP GET attribute and the route attribute. This is a common pattern. Alternatively, instead of decorating the method with two attributes, HTTP GET and route, the exact same logic can be represented using only the HTTP GET attribute with the added endpoint URL address. So, solely the HTTP GET attribute alone represents both HTTP GET and route attributes. We will use this version with both attributes, since it's more explicit and explanatory. This method with a default parameter ID needs to be changed to return a GUID type since our model is based on GUID. Therefore, the parameter type will be GUID and the URL will look like this. A localhost, then port, API, solar systems, and then ID as a dynamic parameter. The parameter value will be determined at runtime when the request is processed. The ID parameter is automatically provided when the method is triggered and will be mapped to the route segment containing ID. Since its type in the method is declared as GUID, we can apply an additional constraint in the route attribute using a colon, like GUID, and all the route constraints you should remember from previous lessons. Moreover, even though model binding will first look for the route parameter, and only then for the query parameter, we can explicitly define the from route attribute here. To query the database using this getById method, we need to include some logic inside it. This logic, utilizing our injected HighKaiTalkDB context class, can be accessed within the method. I will write HighKaiTalkDB context, solar systems, and then use single or default method. This method returns the only element of a sequence or a default value if the sequence is empty. It throws an exception if there is more than one element in the sequence, which is why it's convenient to use. Next, using the callback, we can compare the element found in the database against the element provided as an argument when the method is triggered, like this. Next, we need to define an if statement to handle the case where the getById method doesn't find a matching solar system in the database. In this case, the if check will respond with a 404 error. If a match is found, we will need a return statement to return the solar system that was found. To do this, you can copy and paste the message from the getAll method and make the necessary amendments. Now let's open SQL Server Management Studio and copy the GUID that we had hard-coded in the previous lesson. In Swagger, we can see that the second method has appeared. Let's click Try and paste the GUID from the database. As you can see, it responded with the data correctly. Now to test if errors will be provided, I will change the last number and press Execute again. And we receive an error. To customize our method's if check reply, we can add a message to the not found method, like this. So now if we query with an incorrect ID, Swagger will politely respond with a descriptive message in JSON format indicating that the requested solar system was not found instead of showing an uninformative 404 error. It's worth mentioning that there are various other methods and approaches to implement the search for a single ID. However, for now, we will focus on this approach using single or default. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more great coding content. Stay updated with the latest videos by ringing the notification bell. Happy coding!